So we're on the floor of ICAST 23 and we're in Chris Bishop over here from Missouri and it's actually funny because I've been seeing Chris fishing in Northeast more this year than anything. <laughs> I think he fishes in Northeast more than he fishes Florida almost. Uh, between the Great Fish uh, Tag trip, great yep. trip for you, how many over 50 did you have that trip? That was I had three. That was pretty epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was probably the most epic I heard that about it. I was on the other boat. Chris was on <laughs> a different boat and he, he crushed it. Uh, we fished in Montauk with Captain Savio as well. We did yep. very well that day too. Um, again, both great trips and great striped bass fishing. But there's been some new products from Missouri. Uh, Chris has got one here in his hand. They got some new fluorocarbon out as well. But we're going to start with the lures. We were talking about this before, and it's, it's just amazing the way this lure. You can almost uh, pick the depth at which you want to retrieve it at. But I'm going to let Chris explain. Chris, what is this all about? So this is called the Mag Speed. So it's a long casting lip minnow bait. So this is the longest casting lip minnow bait I've ever thrown of our brand or any other brand on the market. What it is, when it says mag, that means magnetic weight transfer system. So it has a sled in the front of the bait. It locks in place. And then at the back of your cast, you hear that snap. And that's that sled hitting the back of the bait. It's a pretty heavy bait to start with. We've got three sizes, a 100 a millimeter, a 120, and a 140. This is the 140. Uh, this is your striped bass size, but one of the other unique things, it's not like your other, you know, shallow water lip minnow baits. It's not a surf plug. What it is, it's, it's a pretty fast sinking, think three, four feet per second on the sink, head down. But the really unique thing is this lip. So you count it down three, four, five seconds, you're down at that 15 feet of depth. When you start that retrieve, that bait swims and stays at that depth all the way back to the boat and then comes straight up. So if you're marking striped bass down on the bottom, 15, 20 feet of water, you can throw it out, count it down, bring that bait right into their face. That's normally a circumstance where you'd have to throw a bucktail or a swim right. bait. This is the only lip minnow bait that's long casting and can hit that deeper depth. And it's really controlled. You want it to be at five feet, let it sink for a second or two. You want it to be at 10 or 15, let it sink a little deeper. It's gonna stay at that length for the entire retreat. Through wire construction, great hooks, I love this size for the for the bass, but for the albies, that little guy, and bent those hooks out for uh, so we didn't catch all the bass in the tank here. But uh, that little guy is going to be a killer for the albies. It weighs just under an ounce at seven eighths. You can cast it on light braid about a mile, and it's called mag speed because you can burn it, and it's not going to kick out. It's got a really it stays on track. Yeah, so it's got a really similar swimming action to the mag darter, but it's got a little bit of a surge to it got a great wiggle action but a little bit of that search to it that gives it a really natural action the the problem with the mag darter in some cases is if you're too high off the water a pier a bridge or a jetty it doesn't really stay in the water that well based on the way the lip is the mag darter is really made to be cast on the same level that you're fishing from this thing if you're on an elevation like a high jetty it'll hit the rock that you're standing on before it comes out of the oh, water wow. so it yeah. stays in the water that's a game changer for you guys that you know fish off a big structure on land too yeah, yeah. like me right so. especially bridges too we have some bridges by me as well and i'm assuming once you fine tune the sink rate on a lure like this absolutely deadly yeah absolutely yeah and, and that's the other thing it runs extremely well in heavy current too yeah so we we're fishing the highlands i was fishing the highlands bridge earlier this year with it catching straight bass there at night in Jersey, and I mean that it was a full moon night. Currents going three, four knots, no problem. Tracks right, right through it, so it fact, digs really well. Right, right. So we've actually had a pretty epic yellowfin bite these past yeah. uh, couple years as well, and already reports this year some excellent yellowfin fishing. You also have something that may appeal to those guys that like to jig for them. Also, I hear. So this is an extremely versatile bait. So this is the Hydro Monster Shot. We came out with three sizes last year, but the largest size was uh, about five inches and weighed about two ounces. It's r that was right on that borderline of what you can throw now, on a popping that was rod. the one I was using last year in Montour, right? Yep. And we did very well with that. Yeah. yeah, that's an awesome size for bass, awesome size for a lot of different species. But this new size, three and a half ounces. So this, you put this on 65 or 80 pound braid, even on a popping rod, um, with a big Stella or big Van stall, no problem. I mean, talk about a bait you can absolutely yeah. reach out and touch them with. Oh, that, that, that thing so throws right, a So right, you mile. put this in my hand, it's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah there's some mass to that. That's <laughs> got some weight to it. So what's really cool about it, if the fish are busting on top, cast it out, burn it on the surface, and it has a beautiful skipping action. If you want to swim it just below the surface, it has a beautiful little lazy swimming action to it too. But where it really shines is 
the way you're able to hit the entire water call. I'm telling you, I catch fish in this. You, we were out there jigging fish in the bottom on the yes, lighter one yes, at 65 yes. feet and three knots of current. 65 feet with the it's small so, one. When it sinks, it sinks horizontal with that dying bait fish action. And then you give it a twitch, it's got a dart, let it sink again with that dying bait fish action. You can jig fish off the bottom, or if you're marking tunas down 60, 90 feet, no problem, you can get this bait to them. The, the versatility behind this bait just amazes me. Amazing, for yep. under 20 bucks, through wire construction, you can switch it out to single inlines if you want, it won't change the action. We've got you know, a number of great colors from inshore to offshore tuna colors. This is actually one of my favorite new colors with that scaled pattern that you can see how that light really shines off of it. So these will all be available later this fall. Check them out. The Hydro Monster Shot new three and a half ounce version and the Mag Speed. So Chris, I also understand you drove some new line out. Uh, we yep. want to see what you got. You got the Super Floro and you have something else in your hand right here also. So Yozuri Super Braid has been on the market for five or six years now. I know a lot of you guys in the Northeast have used this braid. It's my favorite braid that I've ever fished. Really affordable price, great quality. The thing about Yozuri Line is we're one of the few people in this entire building that owns their own line factory. 100% of Yozuri Line is made in our line factory in Fukuoka, Japan. No one makes anything for us. We don't make anything for anyone. We Just everything that comes out of our factory, we control the quality. We control the entire process from start to finish. Super Braid, great product, and we're introducing a new five color. So this is your metered braid. Comes in a bulk spool, also comes in a 330 yard spool. Every 10 meters, it changes color. Uh, and every one meter, there's a black mark line. So if you're slow pitch jigging, um, even sh I love to use it, you know, slow pitch jigging is the number one market for this line, obviously, but where I like to use it is chunking. So when people say, okay, let out, captain says, let out 120 feet of line, let it back 120 feet. That's a guess in most, in most cases. Right. But with this line on a, on a you know, conventional reel, I can let that back exactly how far I want to mm -hmm. let it. I'm not a big slow pitch guy, but our PE line is well known in that market extremely good quality and now we have the metered line for you guys and when you go to tie that when you're using braided line fluorocarbon is an absolute must yozuri makes the best fluorocarbon on the market period again made in japan you know hd pink fluorocarbon is an industry standard now we've came out with a new super fluoro it's extremely well-rounded fluorocarbon so easy to tie very good knot quality um, extremely strong extremely abrasion resistant and it doesn't break the bank so 30 to 60 percent lower price per yard than the current industry leader oh wow so it's a great name goes perfectly well with the super braid to your super fluoro it's a, it's the super combo uh then tie on a yozuri lure and you're ready to go this is both of these products are actually on the market right now available at Tackle Direct and a lot of the great retailers in the Northeast. That's awesome, Chris. Great stuff from Missouri. Yep. Thank you for your time as always, man. Thank you. We gotta fish again soon. <laughs> That's for sure.